Hey y'all, welcome back to the 14 Acres. My name is Leslie, for those of y'all that are new here. I am in the Dallas area of North Texas. This is the second week of March that we're in right now. And I know that so many places are getting geared up for spring chicks, for hatching eggs, for growing our flocks and all the things that we do every spring and summer. So today I wanted to hop on and talk a little bit about terminology that confuses a lot of people in the world of rainbow eggs. So here's just a little sampling of some of my eggs um, that I collected yesterday. But it got me thinking, I get lots of messages about olive eggers, about Easter eggers, about other things that people will see online, about sage eggers or moss eggers. And one thing that people really need to be aware of is that all of these are mixed breed birds. So as a breeder of chickens and an experimental breeder trying to chase this egg rainbow and develop new colors for my rainbow egg basket, as the breeder, I can call those birds anything I want. The key is making sure people know that these are mixed breed birds. These are basically you know, in the dog world, we would call them mutts. These are barnyard mixes, even if a little more science and a little more thought has gone into it. And I have strategically put these hens that lay certain colors with my rooster that has certain egg color genetics. So regardless of the exact pairing and the exact process, they're mixed breed birds. But as the breeder, that gives me the liberty to call them anything that I want. So I want everyone going online, buying eggs, buying chicks from hatcheries, from small backyard breeders, that sort of thing, to be aware that when you see those types of names and titles for those birds, Ask questions. Ask about the parentage of those birds. How were these crosses created? Educate yourself about what you're actually getting. But also know that if your plan is to then go on and breed those birds that you buy or that you hatch from those breeders, realize that those birds will not breed true meaning if I bred two of them together, I would not get the same offspring as the parents. So because they are a mixed breed, they are gonna give different genes to every one of their offspring potentially. So um, I, I hope that clears some things up for y'all. And you know, it doesn't belittle the beauty uh, and the processes that these breeders and these hatcheries are going to, the work that they've put into these mixes and creating these beautiful colors. But know that number one, it's, it's their discretion to call that bird whatever they want. Number two, ask lots of questions. Make sure you know what you're getting Number three, have fun and enjoy the beauty that all of these mixes give you for your rainbow egg basket. So that's today's quick little egg color lesson and egg color genetics talk. So hope you all are having a great March and that your year's off to a good start. And if you have any questions, drop them below. I do my best to answer every single question, every single comment. And if you haven't subscribed already, it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends. So I will see y'all soon.